So, hey guys, Chauci here. So I've achieved a feat in this game that I don't think many have. And this is not a feature I care about at all, really, because it has no effect in game. But I know this is something many people are passionate about. So I do think there will quite a bit, be a quite a few people who are interested in this video due to that. And I'm talking about effects. And you might think like, what have you done in regards to effects? And I'm sure a lot of people feel like me, like who cares? But the thing I want to showcase today is that I have 999 large ink. So I have capped out. I can't go past that, that's the max. So you might wonder, why do I have this much ink? Because I'm sure a lot of people spend this regularly, like when they put on new Super Sugo, for example. But I can say that I have never used large ink. And the reason is really simple. The way I see it, like uh, ink as a resource is useless. It doesn't do anything but add a cosmetic effect. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing, I'm just saying it is useless for the thing I care about in the game. So, my logic is that if something is useless, well, it's not 100% sure that it will be useless a year from now, for example. They might add something more to the effect, and then you want to have that resource if it ever gets valuable. So with that logic in mind, I haven't seen any reason to spend it, but... As we can see now, as I showed you, when it's capped, it can't go up anymore. So by the same logic I said, like if this ever gets useful, if I don't use it and I waste say 500 large ink, that's also a very bad move. So now I've reached a point where I actually have to use the large ink pretty regularly, which is not a bad thing, but the the main thing here is, what do I spend this on? And the way I've been thinking, I have basically three or four candidate categories. Uh, the first one, of course, is Super Sugo. Since we only have three Super Sugos per year, they are rarer to get. Another category, which is honestly probably more rare than Super Sugo, is the Anniversary Sugo. We also get three per year, but... Two of them are not the most hype Sugos, you won't pull off them as much as the Super Sugos, which means that you will most likely have less copies of Anna Legends on average, at least I will, probably. The third category for me is probably Pyro Rumble Legends, like I do pull a bit on Pyro Rumble Legends, but they rerun very rarely, and like we get only get one PvP Sugo per month. And even if you pull on all of them, like something like, say, Apu, might only rerun three or four times per year as well. So that means he will also be pretty rare. And in the same breath, a fourth one will be a Kisna Legend, since they have the same issue as PvP, even if I probably pull a bit more on Kisna Sugos, even if they are the worst Sugos in the game. So we're going to see here, do we have anything worth using on that's the main question and i have some issues here the main one is that i do pull a lot so a lot of the potential candidates i already have five dupes of because like i'm sure most of you know this but if i take this loop for example uh, i don't have to spend any ink since i pull enough luffy basically when a unit is has got to level limit break level three you don't need to spend any large ink. So this is units you've only got very few dupes of. Or maybe just one copy, which is why many use large ink on debut just to show off, basically. Uh, I did talk about this with my chat, though, uh, on a stream I did before. I do stream now, once or twice per week, if you aren't aware. And we came up with a few candidates together when I looked through what was available. And yeah, let's see if I can remember them when I scroll up. Uh, one of them I remember is the Kid Luffy, of course. 
because this is honestly an incredibly cool ink. Uh, my, I have pulled some Luffy, so I don't have to spend that much large ink. But I won't be able to pull any more copies until March, so I think it's okay to spend a little ink here for the probably best ink in the game. At least I think so, like they actually put some effort in to add some cool stuff with this one. So yeah, no remorse. This is the first ever large ink I spend. <laughs> Like, no cap, this is the first ever. There we go. My first ever large ink. It's not 999 anymore. Uh, uh, one fun thing with not la with having max large ink maxed is the fact that we got treasure map rewards. Trash map rewards include large ink, so I've not been able to get trash map rewards yet because I haven't bothered recording this video using the large ink. So after this video, I can finally get all of my trash map rewards. Uh, what else do we have? I feel like there was something around here. It's like sometimes you just get blind for things. Uh, Super Sugar Anniversary or Anniversary Sugo is the main thing we're looking for. Uh, one thing I knew I also saw was uh, PvP Iwankov. Like, let's just do the level 1 since I've, no, uh, I've decided to do the level 2 because I actually think the level 2 ink is really cool. And honestly, uh, Legend Iwanko is one of my favorite legends released this year. He is such a fun and unique and viable legend he's definitely very viable like an account is a lot better if they have him but look at this animation like the shattered eyes is a bit whatever but i really love the speedy animation that which makes it look like eva is moving super fast here which is very fitting so yeah i really love this so we're going to ink him like, for most of the time, I don't really think the ink adds a lot, but I think this added a lot to the artwork. But it just feels weird using large ink irregular, in general. And I'm going to have to use it irregularly now to not cap out again. Uh, I know I looked at Pearl Spear too, but yeah. I, I actually have pulled enough Pearl Spear, funnily enough. Like... Of some legends, I just pull a lot of dupes. Not sure how Big Mom looks. Uh, that's bore super boring. I have no interest in spending for that. Uh, I know I checked the Ashura Zoro. He was also pretty boring. Uh, don't need to spend for that Kaido, by the way. I think I looked at Kid and Law too, maybe they also looked pretty cool. Yeah, like it's pretty bland, but I I still kind of like it, I don't know why. So I think I will do it because there's honestly not a lot to choose from. Like, I know some people said that the new Super Sugar Kaido has a really cool animation, but I don't have him yet, so... Not much I can do about that. But yeah. Some more large ink gone. Like in the future I can just spend this ink on some debut Super Sugos or such with cool ink. But yeah, can start with that with New Year. The question now is... Is there anything else noteworthy? Uh, probably not a lot of 6 plus, since I do have a lot of them. We can do one more check that I think will set settle for this, if I don't see anything else I'm interested in. Uh, can check Orochi for example. Uh, I hate the uh, <laughs> rocks thrown about, but I love that eye thing. But I've actually put a lot of forge here. I only need one more, so like I'll get this naturally, so I think I'll skip it for now. 
uh, is there anything else? Maybe Saab, I know I checked him before, I think I think he was pretty bland. And yeah, I'm not a big fan, it's better than a big mom, but I don't like it as much as the killer law. So I think that's a skip for me. Uh, let's see if there's anything else noteworthy. Uh, page one is another one I don't need to spend anything on. I'm <laughs> I got so many page one. Same thing with Kuma. Don't need to do it. I do wonder how Kuma looks though. Wow, that's a big disappointment. I done stage one apparently. Isn't it the same? Basically, it's just a bit more oomph. <laughs> super similar. That's super dumb. But yeah. I think I've done what I wanted, so I guess I'll save for the future now. At least I can get my treasure map reward, so that's dope. But yeah, that's me spending my first ever large ink bottles. See? So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.